Hi guys, back again. Um, just a quick video. Now I'm going to do my version of this beer. As I've seen, we just do a taste test in the video oh, a while ago. Now, I've worked out my grain bill on that. It's got ale malt, caramel, and crystal. And I've worked out ratios. What I'm going to use that, I'm going to do another partial. Partial extract in the next couple of weeks on this. Just do my version of this beer. It's a pale ale. Um, now, I don't know if I should use Cooper's Australian Pale Ale Malt Extract or a light unhopped malt extract of some kind or or some kind, some brand of Pale Ale Malt Extract. Not too sure. Just comment down below what you guys will do. Um, and the hops in it is Cascade, I've used that before, and Mosaic, I haven't used Mosaic before. I'm stuck on that, like, this beer was like, pretty punchy, like, nearly like an IPA, but, but not an IPA. It was like, really punchy, by memory, aroma just smack bang in the face. I'm stuck on how much hops to use. I'm going to use pillot hops. Um, I'll probably do 45 minute boil or something. And I don't know what, what hop to use first. So I, I don't know if you start off with Cascade. I'm guessing you do. Just want to work out. Because I want to make it yeah, really punch in the face. So I, you can taste that hot freshness when it's ready to drink after probably five, six week mark or a bit earlier. Because once this is done, made and ready, I'm going to get another one of these and do it side by side. And yeah, just compare it. Yes, yeah, so I'm stuck on a hot bit and a mold extract bit. Um... How much hops to use? I'm gonna buy 100 grams of each, because that's what I can get on one. That's what they come in. And what I don't use, I'm just put in the freezer, because of me fuggles and that I've got in the freezer now, which I'm gonna use probably in something else. Um, and I'm gonna tr probably try a different yeast, uh, some one different ale yeast. I might use USO5 again. I don't know, or USO4. Maybe a mango jacks ale yeast, or I don't know, I'm gonna have to research that one, whatever tickles me fancy. Some kind of good ale yeast I haven't used before, so I'll sort of yeast bit out. But yeah, I'm just stuck on a. just a. how much hops to use, all up. So I'm thinking 150 grams, all up. Make it really punchy. That's including dry hopping. On a nice aroma and a smack bang in the face, and the smack bang in the taste buds. Like, like what this one was. The grains I've worked out, just got to work out the mold extract. Um, yeah, it might use a different one, but yeah, just leave comments down below what you guys would do. I know some of you guys. Use different mold extracts and that, and the unhopped stuff. And yeah, not sure about how much hops to use at the moment. I might have to research, but I don't really want to make it real punchy. This was a beautiful beer by memory. But the yeast I'll sort out. I'm gonna probably get on their website if they give me an idea or to what yeast they use, and I'll probably use something similar. But yeah, just the hops and the mold extract. It's gonna be a partial. Do my version of it, and hope it works out well. I know with crystal malt, not to use too much out because I've used it before in the past. In um, other beers without hops, and oh man, the crystal's got a distinctive, just distinct, its own distinctive flavour. But if you hop it, I suppose it's not bad. But when I do this one, I'm not going to use a whole lot of crystal. 
because yeah, Chris, oh, I don't like the taste, especially when you know, add hops to it. Ugh. But anyway, guys, please leave comments below and just give me an idea. But like I said, I'll sort out the yeast bit. I'll research that. Might use some kind of West Coast yeast or something. Something different, that's good. And I'll brew it at 16 degrees. I, I do want a can. So I want this to be a nice summer beer as well. Have some over summer after work on a hot day. It won't be summer for a few months yet. It's still cold months now. Yeah, he's gonna say get a few brews on next couple of weeks. I'm trying to find out a Mexican cerveza recipe. Um, because I have done one before, but I'm gonna do a different one to what I did before, way different. Um, it's time about start fermentation. The Mexican one, I'm gonna depending on the size of a lemon, I'm gonna put lemon in a fermenter at the start. Cut it up into quarters. I'll, I was going to wash it, sanitize the lemon, but um, you're going to put in the fermenter. That way, you get a nice, should a nice refreshing beer when it's ready to drink. That lemony, citrusy taste, and a little dry hop it with probably a bit of citra. And that's bad. You won't put any, won't do any hop additions on that one. I don't reckon yet, but yeah, it's something I'm going to do as well for another hop. Hot months. Yeah, Mexican cerveza with a whole lemon in it, a cup and quarters. So, yeah, I want to try that. So, there's a few guys I know that actually do like, and they come out good, they say. Um, there's a couple of beers I am still going to do eventually. So, I'm starting to get a few brews on. I've done any brewing since being in this new house. So, uh, and me pipeline here. Yeah. Bit of beer left. Got me a classic double and dry stout. We'll do a video on that soon. Got a few on my fridge put me a few days ago. Been drinking them overnight. They're really good. So I'll do a video on that again. I have done one but I haven't uploaded it. I'm gonna just do a fresh one. Video on that. I'm still gonna upload my Panhead Extra Power Owl video. Yes, yeah, we have brews I want to do for some months in in the summer. Do that stout, Dublin stout again. It's basically an Irish stout. Do that one again for the winter and maybe a fuggled port or something. But no, there's a few other brews in between all that. What I want to do. I've seen I want to try from YouTube. Some of you guys have done. Um. Probably want me raspberry beers out again soon because I'm trying one for a few weeks. I've only tried one so far and it's pretty promising so far. Just waiting on a bit more carbonation to do its thing in the, in the shed where it's warm. Um, I can't remember what I bought that. About six to eight weeks ago, so I'll have to get another one out. In the next couple of weeks, put one in the fridge to chill for a few days or so and see how it's coming along. Yeah, but um, yeah, I'm just stuck on the how much hops to use. I'm thinking about 150 grams, but do I start with Cascade, then Mosaic? I don't know. And then mold extract bit I'm stuck on. I might just get a little light mold. Unhot malt one or something, or or something different than Cooper's, probably Black Rock, or I don't know. But yeah, just leave your comments down below, much appreciated, and like, subscribe, whatever. And yeah, sorry to ramble on a bit, but just yeah, just want to get some ideas. You know, guys, see his next video is probably probably next week. Too easy.